Let's keep this going. Let's go to the weekend dancing in the flames. <laughs> I got to add for dancing in the flames before I'm about to react to dance in the flames. That is crazy. YouTube is on one. So I don't know if I'm alone in this or not, but like, am I the only one that is kind of tired of this kind of throwback retro 80s synth pop wave that Abel, AKA the weekend has been on over this past few years. Like I'm kind of over this phase. Like it was interesting when he first did it because people were not doing it. And he definitely ushered in a new wave of artists, AKA Dua Lipa to kind of follow in his footsteps and bring back that kind of retro synthy eighties pop feel back into the mainstream. And while it was interesting when he first came out, obviously blinding lights was like a smash hit and everything that followed has been successful. Like I was hoping that we would see another evolution of the weekend. Like obviously he came from straight up alternative R and B to that more synth poppy mainstream pop. And I was hoping finally after he had like that whole trilogy of albums finished that we'd get another change in sound or like another evolution. Like he might not be able to do that. This kind of might just be who he is at this point, but I don't know if I'm alone in this, but I'm kind of tired of it. I'm kind of tired. Like I'm kind of burned out on the whole 80 cent the pop wave. Like, can we get something new? I think it's time. I don't know what it is. It just kind of feels like soulless commercial pop at this point. And it's like, that is the opposite of what I've loved the weekend for. Like, obviously he's gone mainstream and he's had big hits, but he's always felt kind of authentic and genuine. And I'm not gonna lie. This shit feels like a commercial, like an ad for like sunglasses or cologne or some shit, like some song that he really just made to sell you something like that's what it's feeling like to me. kind of reading the comments and what I'm seeing is that this is the weekend's last album, I guess, as the weekend. And I guess going forward, he's going to be going as maybe his surname or his given name or something like, I don't know, but like, this seems to be like his last go around as the weekend, which has always been weird to me as like musicians to be like, oh, I'm just going to like go buy something else. Like I'm going to lose that name and go in a different direction. Like you can just go in a different direction. Like you don't have to lose the name, but like to each their own. I don't really see the point of it, but like if this is the last weekend we're getting, I can kind of see why he continues with the sound because maybe the future is going to like take a new step in direction. But like maybe that's what it is. That's what I'm reading the comments. But like, can we speed that evolution up, please? <laughs> Fire is raging, but you're so beautiful. 
Another reason why I seem to like kind of not been feeling the weekend lately is his fans. Like they're absolutely delusional overreaction to everything that he does and puts out. Like reading the comments, 1980s we had Michael Jackson, 2020s we had the weekend. Imagine putting the weekend and Michael Jackson in the same song, same sentence. Like, are you kidding me? Do you know how big Michael Jackson was? Do you know how like revolutionary he was and everything that he did and the amount of evolution he did from album to album to album? Like, are you kidding me? Really? You're comparing the weekend to Michael Jackson. I'm so tired of that conversation between like any artist who has any sort of success is like, that's the immediate comparison. Like, please stop doing that. Like that's another level that unfortunately the weekend will never reach. And like, again, that just rubs me the absolutely wrong way. And like, that just irks me to hear people say that, like, are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, I know they've been teasing like this big return, but I'm just gonna have to say it and call it call it is what it is. It's like I'm sure that's gonna kind of piss some people off and his fans off, but like that's honestly what I'm feeling. Like, I don't feel anything exciting or invigorating or new or like looking forward to what's to come. Because if this is all we're going to continue to get from this album, like we've gotten the last what three, four albums now, I'm kind of over it. I'm kind of over it. And like, it's not even like the best of everything he's done. Like, it's a very it's very average <laughs> to me. It's just very average. And like, I guess if people are really feeling like this 80 synth pop kind of wave right now, like that's to each their own, but like, I'm very much over this sound and direction. Yeah. 